welcome back. My voice is still a little weak today from being sick, but you just have to bear with me because I wanted to hop on today and do another day in the life of a marketing manager because I'm really happy to be back at work. I have been out for like nearly two weeks now and I'm just ready to get back into the groove of things. So there's a lot to catch up on, but also just a lot of new projects to organize. Um, so I wanted to take you guys through that whole process within my notion, all of that. But before we get started, I wanted to thank today's video sponsor, which is Marketer Hire. Marketer Hire is this amazing network of pre-vetted freelance marketers. Their mission is to connect expert marketers with businesses super seamlessly and effortlessly. They provide any businesses with the opportunity to work with their dream marketer without having to hire full-time. As a small business owner, I've had to hire so many contractors in the past just to do odd jobs here and there or work on specific projects because it doesn't make sense financially for us to typically bring somebody on full-time just for this specific project. Plus, at the level of work that we want from a marketer, it can get pretty expensive pretty quickly to hire full-time. So if you're not able to afford your dream marketing team, Marketer Hire is the perfect solution for you. They have a huge network of marketers in every possible focus and aspect of marketing that you can think of. Ad managers, SEO experts, digital marketing specialists, email gurus, anything you're looking for they've got you covered they also offer bottomless rematches for free which means you don't have to worry if the first option presented to you is not who you were looking for go ahead and rematch until you find somebody who fits your job description and your needs perfectly how it works is once you've identified your marketing challenge and what you need to hire for you can speak with one of marketer hires growth experts and describe exactly what you need once they understand your project they look into their vast network and try to hook you up with the marketer that fits your needs the best. Super excited to be partnering with them on this video. If you guys are in need of a marketer for your business, make sure to go and check them out. I will put the link to their website in the description box below. Again, thank you Marketer Hire for sponsoring today's video. You can try Marketer Hire for free with the link in the description box. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my work day now. I'm gonna start out by going through my notion a little bit. I think I've mentioned this before, but I've moved our entire like marketing work board, communication, all of that stuff into notion and it's been great. But because I've been off for a couple of weeks now, I need to go through and just organize everything and just make sure that um, the projects that we're finished have been checked off, that all the new projects have been properly assigned, all of that good admin stuff. So I'm just starting on the projects page because I wanna go through this page first and make sure these timelines are updated um, and that any projects that we finished has been checked off of this area. So um, this actually we're not done. Need to move this up. I'm aiming to get this done Sunday. CPA program, ooh, yeah, this is still ongoing as well. Some of these projects are just taking a lot longer than expected. Good, how are you? <clears throat> Happy New Year, sorry, bear with me. My voice is a bit in and out right now. I'm just recovering from being sick. <laughs> I did, yep. Yeah, that actually is perfect. Hey, it's good seeing you again. <clears throat> okay, just hopped off another call. This one was um, with a potential partner that we're considering working with for some future webinars that we're looking to host. There's been so much going on with work lately, uh, which is also kind of why I'm like 
just happy to be back, I guess, because there's just a lot of new stuff going on and um, a lot of really exciting stuff. So can't say too much, but yeah, lots of lots of good stuff coming from Cashew this year. So I cleaned up my projects board a little bit. And then what I'm actually gonna do now is going to my tasks board within Notion and just go through all the tasks and see what I need to do today. I already have one item, which is um, building out a uh, landing page or some landing page changes at least for this new feature that we have. We actually just added an auto post feature on our accounting app, Truly Small Accounting. And um, yeah, it just makes it so, so, so easy for small business owners to now go from putting in their data into their accounting software and getting reports. It's like a one-step process now, which is very, very cool. So that's definitely something that I want to complete today. We've also actually been doing an SEO audit for uh, one of our sites because we saw a huge traffic drop recently, but we actually contracted it out to a company that we already work with in the ad space um, to do a full SEO audit for us. We did get a full audit report back from them, which is awesome. And so lately it's just been working through some of those um, changes, I guess. Let me open up the doc really quick so I can share with you guys what typically comes in an SEO audit um, in case you ever decide that you need one. And then what I think I'm gonna do is actually start planning for interview project that we have scheduled for um, later in February. It's actually gonna be one of our bigger filming projects that we've worked on so far. So really looking forward to that. But there's gonna be a lot, a lot of planning that goes into it, which we need to go through. So what I'm gonna do actually is start working on the outline of some of the questions that we're gonna be asking during this interview um, because we're gonna need to send that over to our interviewee for review at some point over the next little while. I think those are the things that I'm gonna be working on today. If any other tasks come up, I will keep you guys posted. But before I go ahead and start that, I'll just quickly share with you guys what there is in this technical SEO audit. So the document is laid out starting with what the errors are or like what the issues are, <clears throat> the findings, and then what the action is. I'll just generally go over stuff that they looked at. They looked at crawl errors, so 404, 404 errors, 500 errors, redirects, temporary redirects, um, low quality pages, duplicate content. Um, and then they actually provided what the findings were. So like the details for our specific site and then the action to fix that issue. So for example, for 404s, they're saying um, links to broken resources should be reviewed with priority being the internal 404 errors. The link to broken resources should be updated with a new URL if the resource exists elsewhere or removed if the resource has been completely removed. 500 errors, links to 500 errors should be reviewed as a priority to identify whether the errors relate to server issues, which needs addressing. And then they follow it up with a bunch of different actions. So whether there should be no indexed, um, whether they should be removed from the XML map, or whether they should be redirected to a more high value page. For that, they look at the XML sitemap and um, they look at non-indexable URLs, orphan pages, and how to deal with those. After that, they look at the page experience. So in this page experience part, this is kind of the tough part, I would say, but page experience is essentially a Google metric that incorporates core web vitals, mobile usability, and um, HTTPS as a ranking factor. So the better your page experience is according to Google, more likely it'll appear higher in search results, especially for mobile devices. It looked at how many pages we have that Google deems as 
good experience pages. They did mention that due to the complexity of fixing something like this, a separate audit is necessary to identify and like resolve those issues. Um, so I'm still waiting for that audit on its own. Um, we have been going through and just go like fixing the duplicate and low quality pages, um, fixing the 500 errors, fixing the 400, 404 errors, uh, and then removing anything that needs to be removed from the XML sitemap. So, so we kind of just broke down every single task and assigned it out to the correct person. What I need to work on today actually is sifting through some of the duplicate pages and then just checking on the status overall of what still needs to be done. But again, I'm gonna work on the site first. The design of the site is actually already finished. I worked on that last week. All I need to do is actually just implement it this week, which actually takes me longer. Um, so that is what I'm gonna work on now. So I did have a new task that just came in as I was working on the website. I got a message from one of my teammates asking me to work on some app store screens for one of our applications. Um, they just need something super simple for this one. So I'm just gonna quickly throw it together. Here are the screens that they sent to me. This is our app essentially. Um, and I just need to create them in these dimensions. So typically when uh, tasks come in throughout the day, I kind of prioritize, well, I triage them and then prioritize uh, them into my to-do list, but I think this one they're hoping to get out ASAP with a release, so I'm just going to work on this first. Okay, so I kept the app screens super simple. It's just like a dark background. I'm just waiting for one more different app screen right now. So I'm just keeping that one blank right now. After that, while I wait, I'm just gonna go back and work on building out that web page again. All right, so here is the web page saved with some of the new graphics. There are some things like the length of this, I wanna actually make it boxed instead of full width. Um, but those are things I might actually need a developer for. This image, I also want to be bigger. So yeah, there's a few things that need to be changed, but overall the copy has been updated. My coworker also got back to me with that updated screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and update that quickly and send back the app screens to our developer. Last thing I'm gonna do is just start putting together some questions and that's really just gonna be my day for today. I didn't end up getting to work on the SEO audit project, but that is totally fine. I'm gonna go ahead and move that to tomorrow to be worked on, so it's all good. All right, it's dark here. I am calling it for today. Again, I didn't finish the SEO audit, so I'm gonna continue to work on that tomorrow before I finish my work day and just wrap up and head offline. Um, I'm just gonna go through to my Notion again, start my work days here, I finish my work days here. Um, and I'm just gonna make sure that I mark everything that I did today as complete. And then anything that I haven't done, I just make sure that it's right at the top for tomorrow. All right, that concludes my little work day. Thank you guys so much for working with me today. If you guys are interested in checking out Marketer Hire, make sure you go into the link in my description. If you have any questions about anything I did today, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will try to respond ASAP. Excited to be finally sitting down and talking with you guys and making videos again. I have laid in bed for way too many days, so it feels good to be back in the swing of things. All right, I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.